Hello, my name is Christopher Coates and I am the editor of Whiskey Magazine. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the Ireland instalment of our regional Icons of Whiskey for 2021. This event is sponsored by Amarin Top Series, Cask Nolia, Christie's, Glencairn Crystal, Steklana Harasnik, Larkfire, McLaren Packaging, Scotch Bonnet, The Glen Turret and West Rock. Thank you to all of them for helping us make these awards possible. Now before we get underway, I'd encourage you to please give this video a like and either follow or subscribe to whichever social channel you happen to be watching on. Now under usual circumstances, this ceremony, which is just one of seven that we hold worldwide, would be quite the event with great food, more than one or two drams, and of course the fabulous company of our friends, colleagues and partners from all around the world. The Whiskey Magazine Awards are a key date in the whiskey industry's calendar and they offer an opportunity for those regional industries of America, Australia, China, India, Ireland, Scotland and the rest of the world to come together and celebrate the very best people, places and products in those respective whiskey industries. Now, because of the last 12 months, I'm sure you can appreciate that we have not been able to hold in-person events. However, though we are uh, mixing things up a little bit with these new broadcasts, there is a silver lining. This new approach, of course, allows for whiskey fans around the globe to tune in to our social channels and share in all the excitement. Now, this isn't the first time I've presented these awards and each year in the run up to them, I reflect on them a little bit and I reflect on the past year and I always find myself in absolute awe of just how many talented people are involved in bringing each and every dram to the glasses of whiskey drinkers like you and me around the world. From the distillers themselves, to the still makers and coopers, warehouse staff, visitor center managers, bartenders, not to mention the expertise of the dedicated brand teams at each company's headquarters. There's a great deal of craftsmanship, skill and specialist knowledge required at every single stage of the incredible process that transforms grain into whiskey and brings it to our homes. Whiskey Magazine's Icons of Whiskey Awards were founded to honour these incredible individuals and the distilleries, shops and bars that they represent. This is our special chance to thank the people and the producers for their dedication of each innovative release unique visitor experience and the expert service that they work tirelessly to deliver every single day. Each year our Icons of Whiskey are nominated and voted for by the industry. Now that's not to say that myself and my colleagues don't have some hand in it and each year we form a panel with our most trusted contributing editors and global partners to discuss the nominees, debate tiebreakers where voting was particularly tight and ultimately finalise the results. Though all of our categories are equally prestigious, in these interesting times that we're living in, it seems particularly appropriate to highlight one or two of them that uh, they're quite close to my heart. Now, as the realities of the climate crisis become apparent, responsible distillers are improving their green credentials and as a result, the competition in our sustainable distillery category has become particularly fierce. Now, I'm certainly hoping that this trend will continue long into the future and that whiskey makers will push one another to not only make a great tasting product, but to do it in such a way that keeps their environmental impact to an absolute minimum. Of course, in the world of travel and hospitality, our bar awards celebrate the very best places to drink and those individuals who make the experience of enjoying a dram or a whiskey cocktail more than just the sum of its parts. Now, again, we of course are in the midst of a very challenging time for bars, hotels and restaurants all over the world. And it has never been more important to support these businesses and the people that work for them. Visitor attractions, of course, have been similarly challenged, but we have been blown away by the innovative ways in which these sites have kept in touch with their adoring public. Now, as always, we have been absolutely inspired by all of our nominees and it has become apparent that if there's one thing that unites them all, it's their insatiable thirst to be better tomorrow than they were today. Anyway, enough from me. Let's get to our first categories. 
Our first set of categories are our Bar Awards, starting with Bartender of the Year. The nominees in this category are exceptional individuals who consistently deliver a superior customer experience. They all have a superb knowledge of whiskies and are strongly versed in related areas, which might be cocktails or whisky pairings, and they use this knowledge to deliver absolutely incredible whisky tasting experiences every single day. These individuals have all achieved considerable success, and some of that might have included spearheading new customer experiences, leading menu development, or winning at competitions. Obviously, for this year, we've been looking at a longer track record. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Aidan Van Bladel of Celtic Whiskey Bar and Larder. And the winner is Chris Hennessy of the Dillon Whiskey Bar. Next up is Bar Manager of the Year. Now, this individual must be the manage, manager of a bar that specialises in whisky that consistently delivers high standards. They must have demonstrated considerable business success over the past few years. And of course, though the past 12 months have been particularly challenging for bars, we've particularly looked at those managers that have really inspired us with their response to the crisis. More generally, we also expect them to have done a great job at sourcing and maintaining an excellent portfolio of whiskies recruiting and retaining a skilled team, delivering consistent high quality training to that team, and spearheading new initiatives which heighten customer experience, prompt innovative menu development, and or deliver whiskey competition wins for themselves and their team. So we expect them to be able to mix more than just a good old fashioned. Anyway, here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Luke Crowley Holland of Celtic Whiskey Bar and Larder. And the winner is Patrick Rafter of Paris, Texas Bar. Next up is Hotel Bar of the Year. Now this category is very similar to uh, Bar of the Year and that means that we're considering bars that deliver an exceptional whiskey tasting experience, but they must be within a hotel and also be accessible to both residents and non-residents. They obviously have to specialise in whiskey and should have an outstanding range. All of their team should also have a very good knowledge of whiskey and they should also be able to deliver associated experiences, whether those are cocktails or tasting flights or food pairing. Again, as with the ones previously, has been a strange year for the hotel industry and we are considering a longer track record. Now here's the shortlist. The highly commended award winner is Adair Manor. And the winner is Camden Court Hotel. Our next category is Bar Group of the Year. This is open to bar groups that offer an outstanding range of whiskies. Again, we want to see superior staff knowledge of whisky across all of their sites and general excellence in customer experience in addition to those associated areas such as cocktails, tasting flights and food. Again, it's been a challenging year, so we've been looking at a longer track record and particularly at those who've responded innovatively to the crisis. The highly commended award goes to the Doyle Collection. Our winner this year is the Chalk Group. Our next category is Whiskey Bar of the Year. Now, to be considered, the bar must offer an outstanding range of whiskies, just like the hotel bar, and they must have staff with superior whiskey knowledge. They must be able to demonstrate excellence in one of those associated areas that we mentioned. And of course, they have to be open to the public. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Dylan Whiskey Bar. And the winner is the Palace Bar. We now move on to our Whiskey Retailer Awards, sponsored by the Glen Turret. Now, before we reveal the winner of our first category, we must have a message from our sponsor. Here's Glen Turret. Established in 1763 in Creef, Highland, Perthshire, 
the Glen Turret is recognised as Scotland's oldest working distillery. With more than 250 years of whisky making heritage, the Glen Turret's range of six exclusive malts are bonded by their true scarcity and exceptional quality. Handcrafted by the highly respected whisky maker Bob Delgarno and presented in a beautiful bottle designed by Lalique, every bottle has been guided by the Glen Turret Trinity. Providence, prowess and passion. Three touchstones that underpin everything that the Glen Turret is. The Trinity combines their extraordinary provenance of people, place and spirit with their traditional prowess in handcrafted whisky making and an enduring passion for bringing whisky lovers' moments to treasure. Reflecting their tradition of exceptional quality, the Trinity ensures that the Glen Turret continues to create moments to treasure in spirit and glass. The light and subtle Triple Wood welcomes whisky lovers into the Glen Turret range. Next comes the sweet and smoky flavours of the 10-year-old peat smoke, before the richness and complexity of the 12-year-old. For those seeking a more venerably aged dram, there is an elegant mastery of the 15 years old. And, most indulgent of all, the extremely scarce 25 and 30 year old expressions. Welcome back. Now the first category of our retailer awards is Whiskey Buyer of the Year. Now to succeed in this category, the winner must have a track record of resourcefulness and professionalism and have delivered significant achievement in the past 12 months. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to John O'Donovan of IrishMalts.com And the winner is Tracy Jordan of ARI. Our next category is Travel Retailer of the Year. Nominees are travel retail stores or groups of stores that are selling products to international travel travellers that have consistently displayed excellence in range, value for money, customer service, exclusivity of products and innovation. Of course this has been a very difficult year for this particular sector and we paid special attention to those organisations that have reacted creatively and had a strong track record previously. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended nominee is Shannon Duty Free at Shannon Airport. And the winner is The Loop, Dublin Airport, the Irish Whiskey Collection. Our next category is Own Brand Supermarket. Now, to win in this category, a supermarket must have developed its own branded range of products which are judged to be delivering excellence in range, value for money, and of course, quality. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Lidl. And the winner this year is Aldi Ireland. Next up, we have Supermarket of the Year. Now, to succeed here, this supermarket group must have displayed particular excellence in range, value for money, customer service, exclusivity of products, and innovation in the last 12 months. The highly commended award goes to Super Value. And the winner is Dunn Stores. We're now on to Online Retailer of the Year. Now, to be considered here, this website must deliver an online experience that retails whisky that has been particularly displaying excellence in range, customer service, and again, innovation. Now, the region in which they can be judged is their, where their headquarters of their company is, so that in this case, it has to be Ireland. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended nominee is Devonays of Dundrum. And the winner is irishmalts.com. Our 
Our next category is single outlet retailer. Now this is a single store retailer that has displayed particular excellence, once again, in range, customer service and innovation. Once more, we paid particular attention to those which have responded particularly strongly to those challenges that we've been experiencing in the last year. The highly commended award goes to Devonays of Dundrum. And the winner is Celtic Whiskey Shop. Our next category is Multiple Outlets Retailer. So this has the same definitions as the previous one, but they must have more than one store, and they must be displaying their success consistently across all of those stores. Once more, because of the circumstances of the last year, we've been looking at those that have responded well and have also had a long track record of excellence. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to O'Brien's. And the winner is Carry Out Off Licence. Now that concludes our Whiskey Retailer Awards for Icons of Whiskey Ireland, but we've got more coming right up. We now move on to our Distillery People Awards, which are sponsored by Steklana Harasnik. We'll now take a moment to hear a message from our sponsor. We'll be right back. Located in the heart of Europe, with more than 160 years of history. Steklarna Harasnik is renowned as a global partner for developing and manufacturing world-class engineering glass products. Famous for creating with one of the clearest glasses in the world, Steklarna Harasnik create a wide array of products, including premium bottles for the spirits and cosmetic industries, and tableware products too. All of Steklarna Harasnik's products are distinguished by a perfect combination of style and quality. From traditional designs to innovative, award-winning designer solutions. Being made of top quality glass, all their products are acclaimed for their perfect crystal shine and being completely free of heavy metals. When working with Sticklarna Harasnik, not only are the volumes tailored to the customer's needs, but so are the products themselves. All items can be customised through comprehensive decoration techniques which result in unique and stunning results which speak to their customer's vision. Steklarna Harasnik is the one-stop shop that offers the full range of services, from idea to development and from design to delivery, all while focusing on flexible and excellent service, quick arrival to the market and tailor-made solutions. Welcome back. So we're starting off our Distillery People Awards with Visitor Attraction Manager of the Year. This category is for those managers of any whiskey-related attraction, such as a distillery visitor centre or perhaps a cooperage. They must excel in their position, have developed the attraction's offering and team, and they must provide the very highest level of customer care. Now, this year we've again considered those managers who we think have responded in particularly innovative ways to keep connected to their public. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Cathy Sullivan of Tullamore Dew. And the winner is Woody Kane of Royal Oak Distillery. We're now on to Irish Whiskey Brand Ambassador of the Year. Now, nominees here are individuals who have absolutely excelled in promoting both their own Irish whiskey brands, but also the wider category. They'll have done a fantastic job of expanding their brand's reach and exposure, probably beyond their conventional audience. And hopefully they'll have also utilized new methods and channels. As this is Icons of Whiskey Ireland, the nominees must be based in Ireland. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Angelina Kelly, T1 Dublin Airport. And the winner is Sabina Sheehan of Lambay Irish Whiskey Company. Our next category is American Whiskey Brand Ambassador of the Year. Now, the rules are the same as before, but they must represent an American whisky and be based on the island of Ireland. The highly commended award goes to Ian Du of High Spirits, representing Buffalo Trace. And the winner is Michael Cowman, again of High Spirits, representing Buffalo Trace. 
Our next category is Scotch Whiskey Brand Ambassador of the Year. Again, the rose rules are the same as before, but they must represent a Scotch whiskey brand. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Colm O'Connor of Celtic Whiskey Shop. And the winner is Paul Tohoy of Moet Hennessy. Our next category is Distillery Manager of the Year which is sponsored by Larkfire Water for Whiskey. We'll now take a message to hear from Larkfire. Be right back. Enjoying water with whiskey has been part of Scottish heritage since the invention of the drink itself. Too often though, hard minerals or tap waters are added which can easily spoil this subtle and complex drink. As whiskey drinkers, the founders of Larkfire wanted to find the purest, softest water that is untainted by minerals. Thus began the two-year search that led them across the length and breadth of Scotland. And, after consulting master blenders, chemicals and geologists, they came to the Isle of Lewis. A place that's hard to get to, but worth the effort. Lewis is made up of some of the oldest rock in the world, Lewisian gneiss. Importantly, this rock is metamorphic and insoluble, making the water very soft. Now, in partnership with the Stornoway Trust, Every can of Larkfire water is sourced from the island and a percentage of every sale goes back to the community. Adding Larkfire water to whiskey amplifies its characteristics within the nose and on the palate, softening the ethanol alcohol notes and creating a luxurious, softer and longer mouth feel. Welcome back. Distillery Manager of the Year is only open to those distillery managers that have made a significant contribution to their business, products and community in the past year. Here's that shortlist. And the highly commended award goes to Pierce Carr of Cullowan Distillery. And the winner is Lisa Ryan of Royal Oak Distillery. Next up is Master Distiller or Blender of the Year. Now, these nominees are highly skilled individuals with more than 15 years experience in spirit production. They'll be responsible for all aspects of the whiskey that they produce, and that could include all the way from raw materials through to final cask selection, of course blending, and determining the house style of their products while also maintaining consistent quality. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Paul Corbett of Clonakilty Distillery. And the winner is Noel Sweeney of the Powers Court Distillery. Now that concludes our Distillery People Awards, but there's more coming right up. We now move on to our Whiskey Producer Awards, which are sponsored by Christie's. Before we move on to the first category, here's a message from them. Be right back. Founded in 1766 by James Christie, Christie's has conducted the greatest and most celebrated auctions throughout the centuries, including some of the finest and rarest wines and spirits from around the world. Since the first auction 255 years ago, which offered a selection of rare claret and Madeira, our sales have presented collectors with the opportunity to acquire single bottles or collections from Bordeaux, Burgundy, through to single malts from Scotland, and many other renowned regions. Christie's offers around 350 auctions annually in over 80 categories, including all areas of fine and decorative arts, jewellery, photographs, collectibles, wine and spirits, and more. Prices range from $200 to over $100 million. Christie's has a long and successful history of conducting private sales for clients, and online sales are offered year-round across all categories. Christie's global presence is spread across a network of international sales rooms, 61 representatives and offices. Christie's.com provides detailed articles and videos on the objects offered for sale, alongside the latest advances in digital viewing tools to make Christie's accessible to all. And we're back. Now it's time for our very first producer category, which is Visitor Attraction of the Year. This is open to venues that excel in informing, educating and entertaining consumers. To be considered, the attraction must have demonstrated significant achievement over the last few years, 
and we would usually focus on things like visitor numbers, new developments and community outreach. Of course, some of those have been more possible than others over the past few years, but the latter has of course been pivotal this year and we've also been looking at how those attractions have kept in touch with their fans. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to the Powers Court Distillery. And the winner is Teeling Whiskey Distillery. Our next category is Campaign Innovator of the Year. This title will go to a brand that has shown particular creativity and innovation in creating a campaign to promote either their product, their distillery, or their local area in the past few months. And here's this shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Powers Court Distillery for their Grains of Wisdom podcast series. And the winner is Kinnahan's Whiskey for their Cask non-profit project. Our next category is Brand Innovator, which is sponsored by West Rock. We'll now break for a short message from them. Be right back. West Rock has enjoyed a long partnership with the spirits industry, developing award-winning packaging solutions to enhance the appeal of the world's leading brands. With extensive global resources, industry-specific design expertise, and impressive local capabilities, they are perfectly placed to deliver a unique combination of packaging products. Cartons, labels, tubes, and rigid boxes are tailored to the customer's individual requirements and feature innovative and luxurious finishing processes. Importantly too, Westrock is committed to help you meet your sustainability goals without compromising your packaging's functional performance. Clever constructional designs that require no fitments, linerless cartons, and paper-based tubes are just a few of the single material pack formats. They also offer sustainable, plastic-free and reduced plastic content alternatives to film laminates and metallic foils without reducing shelf impact. Welcome back. A brand innovator has demonstrated commendable creative thinking in product creation or brand marketing in the past 12 months. So here's that shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Teeling Whiskey. And the winner is Waterford Distillery. Our next category is Sustainable Distillery of the Year, which is sponsored by Scotch Bonnet. We'll now break for a quick message from them. Back in a mo. The Scotch Bonnet is a device fitted to casks, designed to reduce the amount of spirit which evaporates from casks during their years of maturation. Over the decades, many attempts have been made to negate the loss of alcohol due to evaporation during maturation, commonly referred to as the angel's share. These attempts have included tarring casks to seal them and even wrapping barrels in polythene. However, it has been generally judged that these methods, while successful in halting the loss of alcohol, are failures due to their prevention of air exchange in and out of the cask. However, the new Scotch Bonnet device is the answer to this conundrum. Made from a sustainably sourced natural fiberboard, the Bonnet does not entirely eliminate evaporation from the barrel, but has been shown to significantly decrease the loss of alcohol without negatively impacting the maturation process or the taste of the spirit. After 42 months of testing on site in a warehouse of a distillery in Scotland, the team behind the Scotch Bonnet have hailed the trial a success with as much as 5.5 kilograms of malt spirit saved from evaporation over the period. The Scotch Bonnet is now patented worldwide and is being used by spirit distillers in Scotland, North America, Taiwan and the Caribbean. Welcome back. To be considered for the sustainable distillery category, there must be evidence of the implementation of improved sustainability processes within the distillery itself and the wider supply chain in the past 12 months. These must have led to a demonstrable reduction in the distillery and the overall brand's environmental impact. Particular credit is given when such initiatives also benefit the local community and the distribution network. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Middleton Distillery. And the winner is Glendalough Distillery. 
Our next category is Craft Producer of the Year, which is sponsored by Glencairn Crystal. So we'll now pause for a quick message from Glencairn. Back soon. Glencairn Crystal are a leading manufacturer of bespoke crystal and glass. And for over three decades, this family business has gained an international reputation for fine crystal and glassware. Based in Scotland, the company has been built on a commitment to personal service and quality marksmanship, and is perhaps best known by its customers for their world-famous Glencairn Whiskey Glass. In the industry, however, they are known as leading global experts in packaging for super premium spirits and have been supplying the whiskey industry with creative, premium, quality glassware for over 30 years. Proud to work with great whiskey companies and their brands, the Glencairn team's unique knowledge of the crystal glassware industry means that they can answer the most challenging of questions and tackle the most complex of tasks with ease. Welcome back. Now, a craft producer is a distillery that uses a combination of traditional and innovative methods to distill its own product on site. Importantly, the annual sales should be no more than 52,000 cases. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Clonakilty Distillery. And the winner is Dingle Distillery. Our next category is the coveted title of Distiller of the Year. Now this is open to a distilling company that has displayed significant and demonstrable commercial, brand marketing, product, corporate responsibility and personnel developments across multiple areas of the business in the past 12 months. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to the Ecklandville Distillery. And the winner is Waterford Distillery. We now move on to our Communication Awards, which are sponsored by McLaren Packaging. Let's take a moment to hear a quick message from them. Back in a sec. Established in 1979 as an independent supplier of corrugated cases to the whiskey industry, McLaren Packaging is a family-run company. One that supplies a large range of customers from small, independent operators through to large multinational organisations. Employing more than 210 people and operating across five sites in central Scotland, McLaren specialise in the design and manufacture of premium, paper-based packaging for the spirits industry and apply over 40 years of expertise across a wide range of paper substrates to meet their customers' requirements and deliver added value for their brands and products. From high quality flexographic printing to award winning shaped composite tubes and rigid boxes, McLaren Packaging leads on innovation, quality and service. And we're back. Our first communication awards category is Communicator of the Year. Now nominees here are outstanding whiskey communicators and they may appear in print, on social media or indeed in the mainstream media. Or, of course, it could be a mix of all of those. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended nominee is Matt Healy of Potstill.com. And the winner is Barry Chandler of Stories and Sips. Next up is PR Agency of the Year. Now, this category can be entered by agencies that have, over the past 12 months, managed their whiskey industry clients' PR effectively and delivered significant coverage across all forms of media. The highly commended nominee is Harris PR. And the winner is Alice PR. Our final category is Design Agency of the Year. Now, this can be entered by, by agencies that have, over the past 12 months, done a fantastic job of redesigning packaging, websites, and helped brands communicate their message even better with the end client. Here's that shortlist. The highly commended nominee is Together We Create. And the winner is Third Mind Design. 
Thus concludes our final Icons of Whiskey Awards. Congratulations to all of our nominees, and especially to all of our winners. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the presentation of Icons of Whiskey Ireland for 2021. Thank you to all of those of you who nominated and voted for our winners, and thanks again to our sponsors. Amarim Top Series, Casknolia, Christie's, Glencairn, Steklana Harasnik, Larkfire Whiskey Water, McLaren Packaging, Scotch Bonnet, The Glen Turret, and West Rock. Remember, all of our winners from Ireland will now go head to head with the respective winners from America, Australia, China, India, Ireland, Scotland, and the rest of the world. After careful consideration by our panel, only one will emerge victorious as the global icon of whiskey for each category. These final results will be announced in late March, both online through a similar presentation to this and also in Whiskey Magazine issue 174. All of the results announced today will appear in issue 173, which publishes this week, and they'll also be shared on our website, which is whiskeymag.com. So that's all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me for this celebration and don't forget to follow, like and subscribe to whichever of our social channels that you've been watching on. Cheers.